because I'm literally sweating. Ah! Ow, 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 this hack. Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Sydney, if you're new, welcome. I am super excited for today's video because today is going to be a hacks testing video. I have never done a video like this before, so I think it would be really fun to try out these hacks that I've been seeing on TikTok, Instagram, um, Twitter. Like I've been seeing so many crazy makeup hacks, so I'm super excited to be trying out some of them. So today we're gonna be testing out five hacks and hopefully these work out because who doesn't love a good makeup hack? All right, so let's just go ahead and jump right into this video. Okay, so I tried to do the cute little half cut crease type moment, but I feel like it didn't turn out as well as I hoped, but I still think it's really pretty, especially when I like close my eyes like this. You can't really tell, but if I like look straight ahead, I feel like they're a little uneven, but I don't know. I still really like this look. I think it was super different and I just kind of played around with makeup and this is what happened. Um, but yeah, anyways, let's hop right into the first hack. So the first hack is going to be the floss liner trick. I've seen this on Instagram, TikTok. I've literally seen this on every single platform. But basically, you put your liner on the string of the tooth, or not toothpick, floss, and then you can just do a really sharp line, which I'm kind of scared because I don't want to mess up this look. But I'm going to try it out. I'm going to try to do like a small little wing and hopefully this makes it super sharp and super easy. So the gel liner that I'm going to be using today is the Stila Smudge Pot in black. I'm just going to use this Sigma brush to get some out. Oh gosh, this might be a little too dry. I haven't used gel liner in so long. Okay, so I'm just going to paint it on there and see what happens. Okay, I feel like I've gotten a lot of product on the floss. I don't know if you can see it, but that's how it looks. And now we're just going to give it a try. Ow, 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 ow. The mintiness from the floss got in my eye. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. I cannot, my eyes aren't. <sighs> Oh my goodness, I should have got floss that wasn't minty. Okay, let me try doing it like this, maybe. Oh my, no, 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 no. Oh my goodness, I can, oh. <laughs> the mintiness is like burning my eyeballs. Holy crap, okay. Oh, okay, I'm back and that burnt so bad. I do not recommend using these. Um, they burn your eyeballs very, very bad. Uh, anything with like the mouthwash or the mintiness to the floss, I recommend not using those because it's painful. Um, because I had such a bad experience and my eyeball was literally burning, I don't think I'm gonna try this hack again. But if this hack worked for you, I would love to know. Just let me know in the comments below and yeah. Mm. I'm not even gonna lie. I do not know how long this water has been sitting on my makeup vanity. It's kind of gross that I just drank it, but whatever. Now moving on to hack number two. Before I wanted to continue with this video, I actually wanted to give a big shout out to Soap Does Nails because she inspired this video. I actually saw her video that was testing out like viral TikTok hacks and I loved her video. I actually only have been watching her for a few months now, but She's so genuine, I trust her opinion on everything, and I really, really do enjoy her videos, so if you haven't checked her out, definitely go check her out. Oh, I think her name is Soph Does Life now, but she just hit a million subscribers, she's so sweet. I highly recommend her if you're looking for someone to watch. Um, you can binge watch all of her YouTube videos because she literally has so many. Okay, so now moving on to hack number two, which isn't actually a hack for your makeup on your face, but it is a hack for cleaning your palettes, and I'm so excited to try this out because I have not found an easy way to do this. So let me go find my dirtiest palette and then let me bring it back so we can clean it together using this hack. Okay, so I found my dirtiest palette, which is the Jaclyn Hill one. And as you can see, the inside looks super dirty. I absolutely hate when my palettes are dirty. I don't know, something about me. I just want my makeup to look very clean and like, I don't know, it's just, I, I like things clean. So, um, 
I saw this hack on TikTok of someone wrapping their um, makeup wipe over like something circle like this. So of course this is my highlighter. Um, but basically you wrap the makeup wipe in this and then you just slide it across the palette. And I was like, oh my goodness, why have I never thought of this? So we're gonna test it out and see if this is a hack or not. And I'm so excited. Okay, um, let me get my makeup wipe open and we'll try this out. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna show this. Okay, hold on. Let me, okay. Okay, I'm gonna try to do it on my desk, but not, so basically what you're gonna do is this and just wipe like that. At least that's what the video said. So I'm gonna try it out. I know that you can't see it, but I'm gonna show you guys and let you know if it worked. Oh my goodness, it's working. I am so happy right now. Oh my goodness, this actually works. Like, can you see all that dirt, like eyeshadow? And then let me just show you, I haven't done the whole thing. I've only done like this area, but it actually works. Do you know how many times that I've gone with a makeup wipe and try to like go very slowly down each line, like trying not to grab the eyeshadow and smear it. It's been a nightmare and I'm so happy I found this hack, like literally. Oh, this is gonna make my life so much easier. So I'm just gonna finish um, cleaning the rest of this and yeah. Okay, so there is my palette now. I am beyond impressed. I will be using this over and over and over again. I'm so happy I found that hack and it is a two thumbs up for me and I will be recommending it to like all my family and friends, so yeah. So hack number three. This next hack is going to be a lash glue hack. So basically instead of brushing the lashes with the glue, I've seen people brush it on their actual lash line and then apply the lash right on top. And this makes it super easy supposedly and it's supposed to stick better and um, not get the glue like all over your eye. So I'm kind of excited. I am not a huge fan of false lashes. I just don't love them because they're so hard to work with but we're gonna try this out and hopefully it helps me out. Okay, so the lash glue I am using today is going to be the House of Lashes Eyelash Adhesive. If I'm being totally honest, this isn't my favorite, favorite lash glue. It works for sure, but it is so sticky. Like if you get this like on your lid, it will be stuck there for days. So just be careful if you're trying this glue out. I don't know if I wanna just brush it on or like use a brush or like this applicator or an actual brush. I might use a brush. So I just have this ColourPop E6 brush and I'm just gonna dip it into the glue and then brush the glue onto my lashes, which I'm scared. Okay, the lash glue is on there. I'm gonna wait for it to dry a little bit. Um, the lashes that I'm actually gonna be using today are these Lily Lashes in Miami. What? Okay, I might've put that one a little bit too over. I'm not sure, but honestly, this hack works. I am super impressed. Like, uh, does this mean I am going to start wearing lashes? Probably not because they're still annoying, but Look at this, I am so impressed. Like I can't stop. I'm shocked, I'm shocked. Okay, I'm sweaty, I'm sweaty. Okay, so the lashes are on and now to move on to hack number four. Okay, so this one I'm like nervous about because I don't want it to ruin my makeup but I'm also super excited. So I think I saw this one actually on Huda Beauty's website. I don't know if you know this but she posts so much on their blog, it's like, so much helpful DIYs, um, tips and tricks, like literally so much important information you can find on the Huda Beauty website. It's crazy. But um, anyways, I saw this thing on her website where it was like, Zendaya uses this before her highlighter 
to make her highlighter pop a little bit more. So she'll put Aquaphor like right here, like as a base and then put the highlighter on top. And it makes it look super blinding. So I'm super excited. But my only concern is that it's going to mess up my makeup on the bottom. So let's see how this goes and yeah. So of course the highlighter that I will be using today is my highlighter by Sass Beauty. I will never stop loving this highlighter. It's just, I'm so proud of it and I absolutely love it. So I'm gonna be using it today. Okay, so I got about this much, like way smaller than a pea size and I'm gonna actually use that on both the sides. Ooh, there might be like actually a lot left over. So I'm just gonna apply this to right here, just lightly tap doesn't look like it's moving mm, actually it might be moving my foundation just a little bit not very very noticeable okay so i'm just gonna dip into my highlighter and try this out okay so it does make my highlighter look very like dewy and like wet, which I love. Okay, I don't know. I think it, I, I don't know. Do I like this? It looks very like dewy and it looks really good, but I don't know if I like the stickiness. It, I don't, I don't know. It's not that sticky. Okay, I don't know. It does look really pretty. I am glowing today. Okay, so I'm gonna say I'm iffy about that one i don't know it looks really really stunning and like super dewy but uh, i don't know if i love how it feels because i hate when my face feels oily or like sticky so i may try this out again i'm not 100 percent sure how i feel about it but let's go ahead and move on to hack number five so the last hack is actually the reason why i added this glitter line because i wanted to use tape to why did I just say tape like that? I wanted to use tape to try to remove the glitter because I know it's super hard to get rid of glitter all the time. Um, it can fall on your face. It can like hurt when you rub it off with a wipe. So when I saw this hack, I was like, OMG, I need to try that. But I don't want to ruin this makeup look because I actually kind of like how it turned out. I was just gonna remove the glitter at the ends, but I kind of want to keep it on for a little bit. So I am going to add glitter to my arm or to my hand and try to use the tape um, and try to use the tape technique on the back of my hand and we can still see if this gets the job done. Okay, so when I normally put on a glitter, I usually use a glitter adhesive. So like I normally would, I'm going to add a little bit of glitter adhesive to my hand. And then we are just going to dump a little bit onto that. And this is actually the eye candy, I think. Eye candy glitter in confetti. So, oh my goodness, I just put so much. Okay, hold on, maybe I can dump it back in the bottle. So there is all the glitter on my hand. I'm gonna let that dry for a little bit and then we're gonna use the tape hack and see if this removes all of the glitter. I think it is pretty much dried down. I just have regular scotch tape with me and I'm just gonna get a piece, put it on my hand and let's see if this baby works. Okay, so it definitely did get a lot off of it just from the first like s stick, I guess, but I can definitely see this working. Let me keep trying with new tape. Okay, yeah, it is working for sure. I'm definitely gonna try this next time I have like tons of glitter on my eyes. Okay, yeah, like most of the glitter is almost gone. So I wouldn't see how this would not take it off your eyelid if it takes it off of my hand so well. So yeah, definitely recommend this. That hack definitely works. Okay, so there are my five hacks. I think we only had one major fail, which was the floss one, but I had so much fun filming this video. I definitely want to do another one. So if this is a video that you liked, please let me know in the comments below. Give this video a big thumbs up. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I need to get out of these hot lights because I'm literally sweating. Um, but yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.